I'm just trying to be the first Chinese player out of Canada to go D1. Ian Lee, when I think about that name, I still remember to this day when his father and mother had contacted me by email when he was in the fifth grade saying that, coach, we did our research and we want to get our son to be one day the first Chinese basketball player to go Division I and play pro basketball from Canada and you're the guy to help us get that stuff done. Ian started at age four, and we bought him a little basketball net from dollar store and mounted on the wall so he can start shooting basketball. The big part he loved to practice is dunking like Michael Jordan, and he probably dunked a few million times, and we went to buy dollar store, but two or three times to repair or replace. And then after he grew a little taller, we built one outside and it's adjustable with the height as he grew. And we drew the lines for him to shoot further and further and the lines for him to practice footwork and also fun. Sometimes I compete with him. In the beginning, I can't beat him. And by, my, by the age of nine, I can't beat him anymore. You're looking at him from his first year uh, being a sophomore and to now being a junior, there's going to be natural progression. A natural progression just from maturity. I've definitely been become a better leader since I've come. I've been put in a lot of opportunities to lead on and off the court. And with my schoolwork, it's, I've been staying focused, it's been good. And obviously coming to a new school in a whole new place and living by yourself, it's made me more independent as a person. He's come back and he's earned the right and responsibility to be a captain. And that's a big responsibility. You know, a lot of times and I've seen teams where I, I know young men who might not be captain material, but they have the best talent. And therefore the coach puts them and gives them that, that captain responsibility. I think what Ian does, he's able to match the talent portion, but he's also able to match the character portion, the integrity portion. The young man that you want leading your team, especially being a point guard, uh, it, it meshes very well for us in the role that he's ascended to as far as being a captain. Coach Wilson, of course, Coach Wilson's like like a mentor to me, you know? He just he just tells me like what I need to do and how I need to do it and always just supports me in what I do. They brought this little skinny short four something, maybe even three something, little skinny Asian kid and said, coach, do your magic. And surprisingly, he had good work ethic. He was relatively skilled with ball handling and making layups. And he was even good at using his left hand. And um, that was my first memory of Ian. Throughout his journey in the basketball, uh, Ian has the benefit of having so many great coaches coaching him. Um, name a few, Coach Jay, Coach Jason, Coach, especially last Coach Roe, which we so thankful for what he had done for Ian, not just basketball skills and getting up seven o'clock in the morning training, but also mentally preparing him for the prep school. From the right, cross over to the left, middle. All right, Russell Westbrook, finish offhand, okay? All right, let's go left, left. Again, let's go. When he's home in the summertime, we get it in. Sometimes we do two, three days. Either I'm working him out, or my son's working him out, or he's doing stuff at home, but he constantly has to be in that gym, getting it in. When I evaluate uh, Ian's game as a basketball player, I would, I would have to say he's a, a new school pass first point guard. 
Uh, when I say new school, he has the ability to knock down the open shot and, and, and get to the hole and create for others to finish. My strengths on the court, um, I definitely say it's just, just making my teammates better, just finding them the ball, getting them the ball, making them get wide open shots, getting in the lane, you know, make, getting shots for my teammates. He has the quickness, he has the ball handling, he has the passing. His shot is ever improving and it's pretty solid. And now we gotta get the defense. Now we gotta get him stronger. Now we gotta get him tougher. Now we gotta let him, get him to lead the team at, at, at a high level. He's trying to make our team better. He's when he sees something you need to do on the court, he he just say it. Like he's not afraid to scream at somebody or just say what you need to say. And um, I think it's really important. He's also really a positive guy. What can I say, man? He he's a point guard. You know, as a big man, you always gotta look up to him because you know if you ain't cool with him, you ain't gonna have a good game as a big guy. So you, know, you always gotta be on the good side of him. But except for that, he's he's a cool kid. You know. He, he has some upsides and some downsides. Hashtag no girls. Ian will have a great opportunity to go up against top rated schools in the, in the country because he's in the grind session, which is the, the prep school elite league that they have now. They play all the top programs, Hillcrest, Prolific Prep, Aspire, Hamilton Heights, and all the rest of them. So every game he plays will be a top rated guard that he has to go up against. And, prove that he can sustain himself. Last year, he went up against one of our other former players, Jonathan Cabongo, who was at Huntington Prep at the time. Uh, Huntington, Huntington, that uh, was a crazy game, you know? Huntington, I had that marked up on my calendar, like that exact day of when I'm gonna play Huntington, because as a kid, like looking at Andrew Wiggins and what he'd been through as a Canadian, and him going to Huntington, you just, that's just a game you really look forward to in Huntington, so. I was really hyped that game. I like. I was really motivated. I really wanted to win. So that was probably one of my better games too. So I came out in Huntington. Like, the crowd was crazy. I've never seen a never seen a home crowd like that before. It was it was pretty nuts. Man. Huntington Prep is a, a top 20 program every year, and Ian, you know, led his team to you know na uh, narrowly losing to Huntington Prep in, in overtime. And I think Ian had like 28 points. So he showed even from last season that he can rise to the occasion, play with elite players, and be able to compete. Oh, Ian's a great guy off the court. I mean, uh, you could obviously see he comes from a great family home. Uh, he's able to conduct himself right in the public eye. Uh, he says and does the right things. A true leader. His, his talent is already there. Uh, off the court, in the classroom, he's a phenomenal student. And so I've always thought and believed that if you're, you're a phenomenal student in the classroom, you're going to be a phenomenal athlete on the floor because they're congruent. One can't do poorly on the academic uh, realm and then do poorly on the court. It's been a, a, a really great uh, ride so far from no one knowing about Ian to him having 30,000, 60,000 views on each of his uh, mixtapes and people know who he is. And I know for sure that the uh, Chinese community is behind him, obviously the grassroots community and families behind him. And now a lot of basketball people, coaches and different people that have either coached him over his career 
they're behind him too because he's a great kid. He's one of those kids that even though he's not playing on your program or he used to play with your program, you're always rooting for him because he's a great kid. He doesn't have a, a negative bone in his body. And uh, we're just working him, developing him, and, and getting to that goal of one day being the first Chinese Canadian to reach Division One.